Sunny morning, bright and sunny, and we're heading for more dim sum. We're going to this famous place called Sui Chun Dim Sum in Jalan Basar. It's expecting to be a line, but we can get enough of dim sum, so we're just gonna get some more. It is hot today, so I'm wearing long sleeves for no reason. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but all right, we're gonna get some food. Almost there. Okay, you put your name and number in the queue and that way they get you a text message and you kind of just wait and then they have three sections a B and C which like they pretty much own this whole block right now and then you are told which room to go to they have a lot of tables but I'm sure it takes a long time so we're super lucky but we're right under the air conditioning so it feels great <laughs> let's eat some dim sum really mind blown right now. Because the last time I was here, they have physical paper and you order using pencil and you scribble down how much you want, but now you just do it all on your phone. Technology. Order a whole bunch of stuff. But all the cold dishes came first and the fried dumplings. Oh, and look tart. Uh, I believe this is Cha Chiu Pao. been in business since 1962 and I can see why. We're almost done with everything. We still have dessert coming so I'm super excited. We just left the dim sum place and I'm so full. We ordered so much food. It was about $55 for the two of us, which isn't too bad considering the amount of food that we got. We definitely need to walk it off, so we're definitely gonna go do that. I would definitely go back. The Lopo Gao was my absolute favorite. It was crispy on both sides and just pan fried to perfection. At the end, we had two desserts. We ordered a long end uh, tofu dessert, which seemed a little bit canned. <laughs> And then I ordered the Sago, Pomelo, and Mango dessert with ice, which is really nice and refreshing. So now we are headed to the orchard area to go shopping, slash window shopping, slash uh, stay indoors because it's too hot out and walk off all this food. So let's go. We're doing a really bad job of documenting the day, but it's dinner time. For some reason, it's always about food. We're in Paradise so, Dynasty. Yes, we are at Paradise Dynasty. They're known for the rainbow color xiao long bao or soup dumplings, and they are all different flavors. So, oh, there's eight of them. They have uh, a gua gua, black. Truffle, crab roe, cheese. It's and gonna garlic. be it's gonna be really interesting. So I forgot to mention that we are also accompanying our friend here, Alvina, who is originally from Singapore. Hi. 
She's so cute. We like see her all the time here in Singapore as well as New York because she's a flight attendant. So yeah, we're happy for her to join us tonight. They have a process to eat which color first. So maybe the, the spicy ending lasts. Yeah, yeah. Starting the original first. Ooh, so pillowy. Ooh, it's good. Pizza dumpling. So we are at the end of our Shaolong Bao tour and this is a Sichuan Shaolong Bao which pretty much means that it's spicy. We've been sharing the eight pieces and they're all very different. I can barely taste anything right now because my noodles are spicy but it's super delicious. So let's try this and see what happens. It has like that kind of like mala ness. I think that's, that's too much ginger. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Cheers. Mm. It's like very like pepper. You like taste and feel the heat. It's really nice. We are headed to the Helix Bridge this morning. Uh, it is super early, it is about 7 a.m. right now, and the city, the country of Singapore is just waking up. We are currently at the Helix Bridge in Singapore. It is super cool because it is the first curved bridge. And what's super nice about it is that it connects the marina area and the bayfront. And it is just so beautiful because of the structural design with the double spirals. Um, it's kind of representing life and continuity and there are three pods in the middle of the bridge where you can stop and take photos and it's really nice view of the entire city. We are now leaving the Marina Bayfront area where the Helix Bridge is and we are on our way to Fort Canning. So right now we're going to head to the MRT station and take it to Dobi Ghat and then after that we are going to find some breakfast because we are hungry and it is time to eat. I'm sweating. It's not 6 a.m. anymore. This is our third photo spot. Should we come back again? I don't want to wait. So we are now leaving the Fort Canning area where the iconic Instagram shot is. And unfortunately there were so many people there. And there was this wedding photo shoot that just kind of like had this whole set up there. So we're just gonna go grab some food and come back another day. Yep. We're in Tin Hoang. Tin Hoang. 
Right now we are at the iconic Tim Ho Wan and it started in Hong Kong and now it's pretty much taken over the world. It's so good, it's a nice dim sum place. One tip for you, besides obviously ordering everything, is that they charge you for the wet wipes. So make sure you tell them to take it off and don't use it because you don't really need it. Just go wash your hands. It's super easy. So we're here now, we have about 30 minutes to eat and we're gonna get our dim sum on. Just finished breakfast in 30 minutes. It was super delicious. We ordered like 10 items. We got the uh, hakao, the shrimp dumpling. It was super good. We got the uh, turnip cake, which is lo pokao, also super delicious. We got the egg tarts, which were okay. They were kind of uh, a little bit more biscuity than we like. And then, what else is the highlight? Seasonal vegetable. I like my wonton noodle soup. Wonton noodle soup. The best part was the chili sauce. That chili mm. sauce is so good and it pairs with absolutely everything. B and I are once again separating. Um, he is going to the wake of his grandfather. I felt like it was something that I probably should not be a part of considering I was there yesterday at the hospital for the passing. I just feel like maybe it's good to leave the family to have their own time and you know do what they need to do. So. Um, I'm gonna head back and get some of our stuff done. So let's go back. 